Gold has never gone to zero. Well, neither has the stock market. Neither has the bond market. No investment. Now, individual companies have gone to zero because the company went bankrupt, but that flies in the face of what we preach about in terms of diversification. If you have enough diversification, something going to zero has a minimal effect on your portfolio. I think gold is often driven by fear and uncertainty. And when things are kind of tumultuous in the world, uh, all, uh, all the time around here, right? These right, days, right. Uh, people tend to go, oh, I need to get some gold because this paper money is not going to be worth anything. Okay, let's stop and think about this. If you have gold, then maybe you have the value of that gold as an asset and maybe you're wealthy because of it. But how do you buy food? How do you buy clothing? How do you buy transportation? You've got to find somebody to sell that gold to. So it's a, just an element of exchange, just like any other product is or any other investment is. And so, Scott, I just think that that there is a lot that people don't think about in terms of gold because they think of it as a shelter against uh, insecurity and volatility. And it's anything but that. Mm -hmm.